plaintiff, Joan Roth, says the defendant is her daughter, and at a young age, she started acting out. Joan says her daughter was sent to a group home when she was 13 and a rehab center when she was 15, and she had four children within five years. She's suing her daughter for unpaid loans. Defendant Amy Dresty says she was deprived of a normal childhood because her mom always picked her men over her children. Amy says when she was 13, Joan's boyfriend held her hands behind her back while Joan punched her repeatedly in the face. And she's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Um, I'd like to begin with, I love my daughter tremendously. Good. She's, um, she's a wonderful person at times. But times you love her? Yes, I do oh, very good. much. Um, she does lie at times. And um, when Amy was 13, trouble started. I'm looking for some tough love at this point, and I feel that you, you are an inspiration. How and old is she now? Help. She's 27 now. Oh, I can't do nothing with her. No. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about when she was 13? That's when it started. I thought she, that's, I thought she was a couple years older. She looks very, very young. That's when it started. All right. How it goes on. At 13, um, it, she had gone to a football game at the high school. She was drinking alcohol. I told her she's coming home with me. And before I know it, she are, and I are on the floor fighting. Mm. The ground. The police come. They took her to a group home, a teenage home, for the, for the night. Um, I've been through so much with her. Um, at 15, uh, I insisted she get a job. She got a job and met a man. 30 years old, started dating him. I had him arrested for statutory rape. By... You've been giving the tough love yourself. I've you don't been need trying. me. Go ahead. I, I'm, I don't know. There's that... a program called Tough Love on Long Island, mm -hmm. and we went there and we okay. tried. Uh -huh. The tougher we got, the more she ran. What happened the next time? I had sent her to a rehab. Um, Drinking or drugs? I'm um, drinking. I, I wasn't sure about drugs. What age? at um, 15, mm -hmm. and um, she was downstate, so she spent the day there, went to school, it was a rehab, and she still continued to run away. When I, they couldn't take it anymore, the school, they sent her upstate New York to, another, to the same program, but it was uh, four hours away, and she had to stay there. Um, throughout the years, um, it's always been one thing or another with When she Amy. came home, how old was she? Uh, she came home about 16 years old. Then uh, what? It, it was one day b before her 16th birthday. And um, she was still incorrigible. She kept climbing out the window, leaving, and she didn't know that a couple of things. Yeah. Um, Did she ever stop the destructive behavior? She has four babies, which she had in five years, with a man that has not worked, they live off the system. Uh, she's, or me. The man doesn't work and neither does she. Not at and all. And they have how many children? They have four children. In five years. That's correct. And they all live off the government, they're on welfare. Mm -hmm. Looking for some tough love at this point and I feel that you, you are an inspiration. How old is she now? Help. She's 27 now. Oh, I can't do nothing with her. No. <laughs> Defendant Amy Dresty is being sued by her mother, who claims when Amy was 13 years old, she was sent to a group home, and by age 15, she was sent to a rehab center. Let me allow her to give some uh, background on herself, if you'd like. Well, I just want to start off by saying I don't want to disrespect you or my mom for what I'm about to say, because I am stating facts. Well, when I was growing up, my mom pops a lot, popped a lot of pills. She's an alcoholic. Um, you know, I was totally deprived of I normal. got sober when Let you were finish. four years old. Let her I was finish. deprived of a normal childhood. What did she, was she ever get about, sober? Um, yes, she did, and then she relapsed. After 15 years. Go ahead, I'll let you finish. So then, um, you, you know. You say you were deprived of a childhood, right? Why? She always picked her men over her children. Mm -hmm. Like what she was talking about, about homecoming, it wasn't me and her fist fighting on the ground. It was her beating me in front of my friends and all their parents at homecoming while her boyfriend, her boyfriend at the time was holding 
my hands behind my back while she was punching me in the face repeatedly. Why was she doing that? Because I wouldn't go home with her. Were you using alcohol at 13? Um, at 13, no, 14 on occasion, but that's not why I was mm -hmm. sent upstate. It was because of my behavior, because I wouldn't that's... stay home because of You kept running her. away? Right. What was she doing to you at home? At home, she was just totally a neglectful parent, really. You know, like, I have a sister mm -hmm. that has a father, and we don't, so she would let him hit us, but my youngest sister was never, ever physically touched by, you know. Why do you think the other sister wasn't? Uh, because she has a father that would defend her. Her father lived with us at that time, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, for a very short time. So you never did anything wrong outside of her causing you to do it? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. It's just, I, I, was, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just that I wouldn't stay home in that environment. Um, did you get your uh, high school diploma? I got my GED when I was pregnant with one of my children. Then what? Did you do anything with it? <clears throat> um, I just finished CNA school, and I've when? always worked. Um, I finished, um, I want to say October. Okay, you've always worked? I've always worked since 15 when she said that I got a job. I went to high school full time. I worked two jobs. Mm -hmm. I have a witness but, here. I paid, on, her, I paid her mother rent Are you so I welfare? didn't have to stay in the Are house. Are you on welfare? Yes. You say you've always worked. Welfare is for people that Because don't I can't work. afford a family of six on oh. what I'm making right now. Why do you have all those babies if you knew you couldn't afford it? Who can afford four kids in all reality, right. even Why if you, you have, have all them? the money in the Most world? Most people who know they can't afford it and they don't have a job like that, they don't do it. <laughs> You're having all these babies and can't afford them. How about your man, the father? Could he afford them? No. Does he have an education? Yes. All right. And what skill? Um, he doesn't do anything with that, anything, but he went to uh, me mechanic. Yeah. Nothing. No. Did your mother cause that too? We're, we're not. Did she cause that? Did she cause you to no. have four babies without a father who can pay for them, without a mother who can pay for them, and cause you to live off the government? Mm. Did she cause that? No. All right. She did Let's the get same to thing. your claim, ma'am. Unpaid loans. How does she owe you for unpaid loans? Okay. Um, I gave Amy a $3,000 loan towards when? a reliable car, May 9th. Of what May year? May 21st. Of May, what? I'm sorry, May 21st of 2009. And that's what I have here. When was she to repay it? Well, she's a mommy. I'll pay you right away, just like always. But Has she paid anything nothing, on it? Nothing. Not one dime. What else? The next loan was um, just recently, um, April 2nd, 2011. How much was this? $2,000. Why would you do that? And she hasn't paid you because anything on the loan Amy. two years ago for 3000 Right. Poor Amy was living in a shelter with her children. And they didn't have food. They didn't have things they needed. And she found this wonderful house that she needs $2,000 to get into the house. Hasn't paid you a dime on that? No, one do penny. Do you have evidence that she agreed to pay that? Yes, I you. do. I also have statements from, I had, my, I had my parents give her the money because I, I Amy, promised to repay the loan of $2,000. Ma'am, what do you say about the loans? Um, really, because I paid for myself from 15 to 18, I don't feel like I owe her that money because she was supposed to be supporting me at the time. Anything else? <laughs> Any other defense? <laughs> no. What's your man, the father, could he afford him? No, no. Did your mother cause that too? We're, we're not. Did she cause that? Did she cause you to no. have four babies without a father who can pay for them, without a mother who can pay for them, and cause you to live off the government? Mm. Did she cause that? No. All right. Defendant Amy Dresty is being sued by her mother, who claims when Amy was 13 years old, she was sent to a group home, and by age 15, she was sent to a rehab center. All right, your counterclaim for 5000 for emotional distress. How so? For everything that I've gone through from 14 until now. Mm -hmm. Even now, she doesn't act like a I know you are parent. stressed. No job. A man that doesn't have a job. You got a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your claim is dismissed. There's no legal basis for a person to sue based on their parents being uh, neglectful of them. There's no law that says that. Your claim for 5000 her defense to that, says she doesn't believe she owes you because she had to take care of herself. And that's not the case unless she paid the rent. 
And even if she paid the rent, she did it as a member of the household would do, like kids who get jobs, they contribute to the household. I had to pay the light bill, I believe it was, when I was 14, 15, and I didn't even have a job. My mother said, if you out there stealing, you steal enough to pay this light bill. <laughs> <laughs> for the plaintiff, ma'am. And my mother didn't tell me to steal the paper <laughs> right here. <laughs> Your counterclaim is dismissed. Have a good Thank day. You, <laughs> I love my daughter a lot. I've always been there for her. I've always helped her. I, I sent her to programs where I paid out of pocket. And I want to see her turn her life around. It's, it's time. You're a mother of four. I love you too, Ma. <laughs> You'll always be my baby. Oh, you know that.